Ready to start producing your T5018s? Before you start producing your forms, you'll want to make sure that all the appropriate information is included on them. Watch this lesson to learn how information is populated on the T5018 form and about the process of creating and submitting these forms. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to verify your CRA account number and then generate your T5018. Accounts Payable lets you generate and e-file the T5018s and related slips through Atrix. In order to e-file returns through Atrix, you must register with them. You can enroll with Atrix e-file center before you complete any forms, or you may do so as you complete the e-file process with a form. A program account is a required account number assigned to identify your company when dealing with the Canada Revenue Agency. Let's verify your company has this number set up in the Company Information window. From the Utilities menu, select Company Information. When the 7-2 menu opens, select the CRA Program Accounts button in the bottom left of this window. Here in the Sample Company, we have a program account already set up. Let's select the number and click Edit. This 15-character program account number contains the nine-digit business number. The business number is a unique federal government numbering system that identifies your business and the various accounts you maintain. It consists of the nine-digit business number, two letters for the type of account, and four numbers for the specific account reference. Depending on the type of business you have, you may need to register other types of program accounts. The nine-digit registration number will not change, but other letters will be added to the business number. You also need to verify that the Use for T5018's reporting checkbox is selected. Once you've confirmed all the information is correct, click Save Changes, and click Close, and Save to exit. Now let's see how to generate the form T5018. From the Accounts Payable menu, select Vendor T5018 Forms. In the 4-5 window, select the T5018 Official Form. Next, specify the year you're completing the forms from the list and click Run Report. At this point, you may see this window. This is where Atrix is grabbing the data it needs from your company folder and bringing the data in to fill out the form. Now the T5018 Setup Wizard opens, which will guide you through the rest of the process. In this window, indicate whether you'd like to do a test run or start processing the official T5018 slips. When you do a test drive, you can walk through the process of creating the T5018s but nothing is saved and official copies cannot be produced. In this example, we'll select No Thanks and start processing. Your company's account number that you set up under Company Information CRA Program Accounts will prefill. Confirm it is correct, then click Next. The company information that will be displayed on your T5018 forms is displayed here. Make any necessary changes, then click Next. If your vendor data is stored in separate company folders and needs to be consolidated for tax reporting, you can do so by selecting Yes, I use multiple T5018 data files for this account number. In this example, all of the vendor data is held in a single file, so we'll select No and then click Next. And the Preparer window opens. In this window, the information for each vendor is displayed in rows, and each column represents a value that will print in the cell on the T5018 form. Notice at the top of each column, it indicates which box the information that is displayed will be placed in the T5018 slip. Take a moment to confirm that the static information for each vendor, things like the recipient TIN, the name, and address information prefills correctly from the software. You can make changes in this grid. However, doing so will not update your records and accounts payable itself, so it is recommended that you instead close this window, make the corrections in the accounts payable, then return to this window after the corrections have been made. When you're ready, click the Next Step button to move along in the process. The grid and the Action Toolbar will help you identify 
the process of verification. Here, the check if box 2 column is highlighted in blue, indicating this is the information that you're currently reviewing. Make any changes if needed, then click Next Step to continue. Verify the recipient's name and addresses, then click Next Step. Here, you need to verify that box 22 has the correct income listed for each vendor. Click Next Step when you're done. As long as there are no errors detected, the T5018 Filing and Printing Options window will open. The selections you make here will determine how the T5018 slips are distributed to your employees, and how the T5018 and summary information is to be submitted to the Canada Revenue Agency. If you select to complete the T5018 e-filing service, Atrix will handle the printing and mailing of the employee copies, which does have a modest fee. They will also transmit the information to the CRA for you, free of charge. If you select this option, you will then be prompted to print internal copies of the T5018 and T5018 summary. Then provide a date for the information to be submitted, and that's it. You're done. If you instead prefer to print and mail the employee T5018 copies on your own, select Other Options, and select Print My Recipient T5018s. You still have the option to take advantage of the free e-filing service to submit the T5018 and T5018 summary to the CRA. If you'd like to utilize this service, leave the E5 Federal T5018 and T5018 Summary checkbox selected. Once you've made your selections, click Next. And this window will open that displays the selections you've made. You can print the information in this window for record keeping purposes using the Print button. In this example, we've selected to e-file the T5018 and the T5018 Summary and print and mail the employee T5018s manually. Click Next to start the process of printing and e-filing of the forms. The Form Viewer opens, which will guide you through the remaining steps. The Action Toolbar at the top will indicate what step you're on, which copy is being displayed, and how many you have remaining. You can toggle between pages using the buttons in the top left-hand corner. Then click Next Step. And when asked if you'd like to print the copy, click Yes. Since we selected to e-file the T5018 information to the Canada Revenue Agency, there is a message at the top indicating that this copy being printed is strictly for internal purposes, and you should not be submitted to the government. In the Preferences section, you can select your paper source, which pages to print, and how many copies you want to print. And down below, you can even change which printer is used. Once you've selected the correct printing options, click OK. And now, in the Action Toolbar, you can see that we are on Report 2 of 4, the T5018 Summary. After you've clicked Next Step, click Yes to print the form. And since this information is also being e-filed, again we're printing an internal copy only. You can change any of the printer options as needed, and when ready, click OK. And now you move to Report 3 of 4, the T5018 Recipient Form. You can toggle between pages to review, and when ready, click the Print Final button. Since we chose to print and mail the T5018s rather than have them e-file, the copy we are printing in this step is a copy that you will mail to the vendors. Again, specify any special printing options, and then click OK. Then click Next Step to proceed to Report 4. The last report, Report 4, is the T5018 recipient instructions that you will need to include with the T5018 forms you are mailing. The software will print one copy of this form that you can use to make additional copies. When you're ready, click Print Final, make any printer selections needed, and then click OK. Then click Next Step to start the e-file process. If you've chosen to let Atrix e-file the returns for you, you can now log on to Atrix to complete the filing. Once you've logged in, follow the prompts to select a date for your T5018 and T5018 summary information to be filed by the CRA and submit the information. 
Atrix will file the information with the SEER 8 on the date you specify in the process. If you've had to select any of the services that have a fee associated with them, such as a complete e-filing package, you will be asked to provide a method of payment in this process. Once you've completed this, you can check the status of your filings by logging into your e-filing account at efileca.atrix.com. Now that you've finished watching this session, you should be able to verify your CRA program account and generate and e-file your T5018 returns.